Hey, this is Patrick with Chris Holman Associates at Remax Vernon. And on top of being a self-proclaimed top North Okanagan realtor, I'm also a self-proclaimed quiz master of non-Canadian related trivia. So let's see how today goes. Any answer I get right, a million points. Any answer I get wrong, ice water. So let's do this. What tough sounding CFL team has its origins in the Regina Rugby Club, a team that was founded in 1910? My hometown, Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Nice. <laughs> I'm Like a Bird was a top 10 hit from the 2000 album Woe Nelly, the debut by what Canadian singer-songwriter? Nelly Furtado? Yeah, you get an extra 10 points if you sing the song. I'm like a bird, you only fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where something else is. Nice. Did it. Alberta is the world's largest inhabited region to be completely free of these pests. Oh, um, oh, I know this, I know this. Is it gophers? Oh, let's do it. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's go. This Canadian singer's 1997 album, Come On Over, is the all-time best-selling record by a female artist. Oh, come, oh. So there's singer. Celine Dion, which is not it. There's a Laz Morissette, which is not it. It's definitely Shania Twain. Yep, you're right. It's also the best-selling country album of all time. <laughs> Wouldn't have known that. What sport joins ice hockey as one of the two national sports of Canada? It probably has to be... I'm going to guess CFL football. <laughs> it is so much water. I'm definitely here to learn. Canopy, Supreme, and Aurora are all Canadian companies with a business largely built around what genus of plants? Oh, weed. Mm -hmm. Mar Marijuana? Offred often dreams of escaping to Canada from the dystopian Republic of Gilead in what 1985 novel by Margaret Atwood? I have no idea. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Which of the Great Lakes does not share a border with Canada? Michigan. Yep. The French word for mixed blood, what M word was the term for native Canadians who are a mix of Aboriginal and European, oh. largely French ancestry? Métis, but I did not know that that was a uh, French word. Mm -hmm. Or a French word that meant mixed blood. Uh -huh. A Canadian pharmacist invented this spreadable. Penicillin. Oh, spreadable. No, yeah. cheese whiz. Oh, it's peanut butter. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, it hit me. <laughs> this type of pizza was created by Hawaiian. Sam. Hawaiian. Yep. The beaver is one of Canada's national animals. This statuesque mammal is the other. Oh, the uh, moose. Elk? Deer? The Canadian horse. The Canadian horse. <laughs> <laughs> This is the sunniest city in Canada. I know. Saskatoon? No. <laughs> What's the sunniest <laughs> city in Canada? Calgary, which averages 333 <laughs> days of sunshine per year. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is Canada's most played sport. Should I give you a hint that it's not what you expect? Soccer. Soccer? It's hockey? It's not hockey. Golf. Are you kidding me? Golf. I challenge that. Hockey comes next. <laughs> Still gets royalties from his appearance on this 2000s teen drama. Well, it's the grassy junior high, the next generation. I'm going to have to. Nailed it. This is the most consumed fruit in Canada. Apples? Uh, bananas. But that'll be it. The only pierogi drive through is in this city. The world's only? That's a. Oh, I would challenge that for sure. There's got to be more than one pierogi drive through. I believe there was one in Saskatoon uh, when I was a teenager. Yep. Baba's Homestyle yeah. Pierogies. Ah, it's on Warman. Is known for its exceptional Ukrainian really? dumplings, as well as cabbage rolls, sausages, yeah. and borscht. Amazing. It was it was like Grandma's made it. I think actually what I think actually is Grandma's making it. Holy crap! The that I would challenge that the only. <laughs>
This type of evidence is not admissible in many Canadian courts. Huh? Circumstantial? <laughs> what kind of evidence is there? Apologies. Because huh? we're known for saying sorry so much. Cool. Canada. I did not. I would have never. You're allowed have known to that. apologize, even though, and it's not considered like evidence. <laughs> Well, I think that was a success. I'm sufficiently soaked, so uh, hope you learned something and happy Canada Day.